Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with AWS Step Functions and API Gateway. Our viewer is looking for a way to retrieve the final output of their Step Function execution instead of just the execution details. Let's dive into the specifics of their challenge. Welcome back to another tech video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To retrieve the output from your step function, you need to ensure that your API gateway is configured to return the results from the execution of the step function. First, check your API gateway method settings. You need to set the integration response to map the output from the step function to the API response. Next, you will need to modify the Lambda function or the integration that invokes your step function. Make sure it retrieves the output from the end state of your step function. Finally, test your API gateway endpoint to confirm that it now returns the desired output from your step function, such as the name Hello World. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get output results from a step function using an API gateway, you can create a Lambda function that executes the step function and pulls for the result. But this is only viable if the process won't exceed 30 seconds. A better approach is to have the first call return immediately with an execution ID. Then, use this ID in a second call to retrieve the result once it's ready. And guys, that's it. I hope this video has helped you and get you through to that resolution you needed. If it did, please, I'd appreciate it if you hit subscribe. Now, until the next time that you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.